we've got the tension wrenches. You've got the this style here, which when you reach the desired tension, it'll make the clicking noise and push the little lever out there. You've got a slide scale for setting your foot pound or newton meters of torque. And what I would use is, is a lot of manufacturers when they build a car or put something together, they work out what the best tension is to put on a certain bolt, uh, cylinder heads especially. You'd uh, work in a series of different foot pounds till you've got that desired tension. And this is just a, a gauge that's going to show you, make sure you've got the correct tension. So this one works. You just put your socket on the end. This is a connecting rod out of a EA Falcon. Piston on the end. You simply just put it on there, do it up. And then once it reaches, in this case, 20 foot pounds, it's gonna click. Just now. You know, let's do it a couple of times to make sure you've got the right tension. I know now that that bolt is done up to 20 foot pounds of torque. This one's ratcheting also, whereas that one's fixed. This one you can uh, you can keep getting your movement without taking it off. And when you reach your tension with this one, it'll just click and it's, it resets by itself. You don't have to push anything in. So if you do happen to go away, come back to another bolt, you can't make that mistake. Yeah. So what do they call this type? Just Actual. Pretty important thing with a tension wrench like this though is, these ones not so bad, but with these you've got to make sure you release all the tension off them before you put them back in storage. Don't ever leave them wound up. And they can be recalibrated if they come out of calibration. So is there torque wrenches in the marketplace for that difference? It's called torque to yield. Uh, Falcon, we're using it a long time for their cylinder hedge. And what it'll say, it'll say maybe the first step is tighten it up to 60 foot pound or whatever it may be, the desired setting. Then tighten a further 180 degrees. So what this is, is just a degree wheel. Set it up so the, the base itself doesn't turn, you're just using this. And then as you do this up, you can see your degrees in place and you just turn it. And it's 60 degrees.